Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Angular developers encounter. Our viewer is working on a component that includes a file picker for uploading images to a CDN. They want to implement reactive form validation to ensure the uploaded file meets specific criteria, like checking the file name and extension. Let's dive into the details of their challenge and explore how to effectively validate file inputs in Angular. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To implement reactive form validation for a file input in your Angular app, we first need to set up the form in our component. Let's start by defining the form group in our component's TypeScript file. Next, we need to handle the file selection event. In the onChange method, we will update the form control with the selected file's name. However, we must ensure that we do not directly set the value of the file input. Now, let's implement the custom validator. This validator will check the file name and extension. For now, it will simply log the input but you can expand it to include your validation logic. Finally, ensure that your HTML template is correctly set up to display any validation errors. You can use Angular's built-in validation features to show messages based on the form control's state. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this Angular example, we create a reactive form with a file input. We define a form group with two controls, name and my file. When a file is selected, we update the my file control with the selected file. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When using reactive form validation with an input type file in Angular, remember that the value of the input is read-only. To avoid errors when setting the value, you should use emit model to view change set to false. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with file input in your Angular app, simply remove the form control name attribute from your file input element. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.